Hi, welcome to the Cloud Brothers. I'm Corey. I'm Scott. We are the Cloud Brothers. The Cloud Brothers. Yeah. <laughs> In stereo, it was perfect. Cut it, print it. Okay. Wrap. Yeah. Enough of that. <laughs> we are here. Uh, we've decided to start a new series, which will likely become a new playlist. Um, and that's going to be uh, the uh, tutorial review. And uh, so all you people that make tutorials, uh, well, congratulations. You've inspired us to uh, start doing uh, reviews. So today uh, we're going to be uh, starting with Atlassian uh, Bitbuckets tutorial. Um, Scott's uh, been through this many times. I've played with this stuff a little bit. Uh, I think the Seguin, Seguin, whatever you say it, uh, uh, no idea. How was from the Service C Mesh uh, video that we did with uh, CG Win with Kevin. It's, it, it's Linux. It's Linux commands on Windows. Basically, yeah. So that that's what you need because I, I actually I actually uh, looked up a because some people are going to be doing it on on Windows, which isn't ideal, but it's going to happen especially if you're a beginner and you only have a windows machine so yeah. i thought i'd look this up um so i'm just gonna get right into it here i'm just gonna shrink us through the magic of television okay. before before you start though um i think you can just download and install cg win on its own we'll put a link in the description yes you can so uh however there is a link on uh on here um, it says learn uh, Git with Bitbucket Cloud. Um, so basically it shows create a Git repository, copy your Git repository, add files, uh, pull changes from a Git repository on Bitbucket Cloud, and use a Git branch to merge a file. Um, the objective to learn the basics of uh, Git with this space themed tutorial. And space. There is a mission brief. Your mission is to learn the ropes of Git by completing the tutorial and tracking down all your team's space stations. Commands covered in this uh, tutorial are git clone, git config, git add, git status, git commit, git push, git pull, git branch, git checkout, and git merge. Um, so get out, get out of here. So we'll have to time it. Um, oh, so uh, it says no. That was because I had the thing here. No, it's thirty minutes. Um, oh. You're new to Git and Bitbucket Cloud. That's the audience. That that's us. That's uh, yeah. that's more me than Scott. But that's okay. I've I've even uh, been in Git for time um you have installed git that's a prerequisite i have installed git uh i clicked this link i did it earlier but i did it much earlier because for the service mesh video we made before that i mentioned it was already done i actually uh, full disclosure uh clicked on this link and downloaded it earlier to save us time during this recording and then you have a bitbucket account well i made one i just signed in with my google account i have it open in another window um, so, uh, create a Git repository as our new Bitbucket Space Station Administrator. So exciting, Scott. Administrator. You need to be organized. When you make files for your space station, you want to keep them in one place shareable with teammates, no matter where they are in the universe. With uh, Bitbucket, that means adding everything to a repository. Let's create one. Some fun facts about repositories. Um, you can read that on your own. I highly recommend a video that we have on the, we have the channel that get parable is on our channel, right? Link in the description mm. below, or did we not no, put I'm that sure on the channel? I'm not sure where I uploaded it, to be honest. Or uh, that may be no. on another channel you have, actually. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> step one, create the repository. Initially, the repository you create in Bitbucket is going uh, to be empty without any code in it. That's okay because you will start adding some files to it soon. This uh, Bitbucket repository will be the central repository for your, for your files, which means that others can access that repository if you give them permission. After creating a repository, you'll copy a version to your local system. That way you can update it from one people, repo, then transfer those changes to the others. Do the following to create your repository from Bitbucket. Hold on a second. Actually, can you scroll, can you scroll up a little bit just to that picture? Yep. Scroll back. So that's important. The um, central Git repo and uh, local repo. That's just an important image to, to note there. Yeah, that is a very important image to note. I am just going to get rid of a couple of images here for the real estate. Um, everybody knows that Scott and I are certified AWS certified solutions architects, uh, if that's not clear. Certifiable, uh, of course. We're we, certifiable. Yeah, we're certified and certifiable. Okay, so do the following to create your repository. From the Bitbucket, 
It says get free. What? Okay. Uh, you're not logged in. I thought it I was logged in before. Hold on a second. I'll log in. All right. All right. Here we are. That we'll uh, we're gonna do it. Uh, I guess this way again. Um. So we are here. Um. From the bit bucket, click the plus icon. I guess that's this now. Maybe it changed since. Yeah, it's slightly. The the UI is changed. Oh, here this it is. is right one here. of our. Here it is. Right here. I found it. Yeah. It says click the plus icon in the global sidebar. Okay. All right. So I've done that. Create yeah. a rep and then it's asked me to create a new repository page. Uh, it's owned by me. Workspace is me. Uh, so we're gonna call it a rep project name. Uh, there's no project name on this tutorial, so... It has bit, no, it is. It's right there. Bit, bit bucket station locations. No, that's... Oh, sorry. That's, that's no project name. Yeah, that's the... Repository name. Yeah, so uh, this is uh, as part of the Rate My Tutorial. Yeah, so we're um, seeing how up-to-date the tutorial is. So, like, if you put a tutorial up, uh, I'm of the opinion that it should be current. Um, it's maybe hard to keep up for people, but uh, we're but I guess I'm just gonna call it uh, space stations or something here like this, which will be fine. That's what I'm gonna call the project name. It is a requirement. Um, and like we were saying, the GUI does look a little different. We'll see if this still works. Uh, yeah. Take some time to review the dialogue's contents with the exception of the repository type. Everything you enter on this page, you can later change. It looks pretty similar, other than the project name. Yeah. Um, and this is, the, this is pretty common, though. Like, yep. Part of this is you have to figure this stuff out. When you're Absolutely. It, it, it doesn't mean uh, that uh, it's lost the cloud. or uh, That's that's what we call stars on the cloud, brothers. Um, we, we're going to we, we're gonna rate it five out of five clouds. Um, and so far, so good. So um so we entered the repository name bit bucket station locations we, we named it in the name field bit bucket uses this name in the url for the repository of the repository for example if the user the best has a repository called awesome underscore repo the url for that repository would be bitbucket.org uh, slash the best slash awesome repo for access level leave it as private repository which is this click tick box right here um is only visible to you and those you give access to pick get for the repository type yeah so this doesn't if you click on advanced settings it's probably in there now in the bottom likely uh, uh no nope. 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 maybe they don't do mercurial anymore but that's what i was talking about this is a private repository pick get for the repository type um yeah it does it's not giving you that option it's fine Include get ignore. Um, so this is description fork language. Okay, so um, yeah. I, can't, I can't pick the type, so I'm gonna just click on uh, which I move this over. I'm gonna click on re click repository right here. Create repository, I mean. So I've clicked that, and stuff is happening. Okay, so um, let's see. Explore your new repository. Take some time to explore the repository you have just created. You should be on the repository's overview page, which uh, it looks like we are. It says Bitbucket Station Locations, as expected. Um, let's see. We're on the click plus from the global sidebar for common actions for a repository. So I guess it's all there already i guess we don't the sidebar is just open these are common i think actions. the sidebar is open for you already yeah so the it must just be upgrades so the, like nothing nothing bad has happened so far it's all just no. here it all makes sense right and it's matching it's matching the animation so there, there's no plus so uh, like if i wanted to collapse it i could collapse it but it just defaults to open now i guess yeah okay. we didn't check the date when this tutorial was made but i, I no, i'm it's guessing okay. it's before but yeah uh well um does it say not yet but it's, no. it might be at the bottom um so we are here so uh let's see click items in the sidebar to see what's behind each one so it's just asking me to 
yeah. look around, right? Pull requests. So it's branches, pull pipe, requests, pipelines, pipelines deployments, deployments, Jira issues. issues. Security. Oh, yeah. So in our other video, we talked thing. about the Jira cloud. So uh, we don't have it associated, but we can do that in another video. Um, yeah. When you click the commits option on the sidebar, you find that you have no commits. Have Correct. No commit. We have no commitments. Uh, actually, uh, actually, you do have a commit. You have an initial commit. But well, yeah, the fine. initial, no new commits. Okay. So the only person you can create or edit the repository's contact right now is you, the repository. Yep. Copy your Git repository and add files. Now that you have a place to add and share your space station files, you need a way to get it from your local system. To set that up, you want to copy the Bitbucket repository your system. Git refers copying a repository as cloning it. When you clone a repository, you create a connection between the Bitbucket server, which Git knows as the origin and your local system. So yeah. open a browser in the terminal window from your desktop. Opening the terminal window. I open a browser and a terminal window. So I need a turn. So I really need. Uh, so is it the CG win? You don't need. It a, is it's CG browser. Win. It's not command, and, right? Yeah, so I, it is. So that is this. command line. So this is what we need. So now I want to go CD uh, squiggly. One, you need space there. Oh, whoops. Uh, uh, the, til the tilde, that's called the tilde. The tilde. And that means your home directory. Uh, so I'm at my home directory. So now I want to make a new directory uh, there in my... So what this is is... You want to make that bigger? That's I'm not super, sure super if small. I can. Uh, I think you just hit control plus. No, it just keeps typing K's if I do that. Oh, no, that's shift. Control. There we yeah. go. There we go. There we go. You, you're welcome, viewers. And uh, my, my brother Scott. Okay, so yeah. uh, so we are in C Segwin. So now we're gonna make deer. So we're making a directory called repos. Yeah. And now we're gonna change uh, into the directory by throwing this thing in here to get into the directory. So now we're in repos. Yep. Yeah. Uh, so uh, from Bitbucket, it says here, uh, go to your Bitbucket station locations repository. Okay, there I am. Click yeah. the place icon and type clone this repository. Do yeah, click on. Oh yeah, up on the top there. You see the clone button? Over here. Yeah. Oh, that's new. Okay. So, yeah. uh, Bitbucket displays so, a pop-up dialog. Yeah. Um, by default, the clone sets the dialog sets a protocol to HTTPS or SSH, depending on your settings. For the purposes of the, this tutorial, don't change your default protocol. So just use HTTPS. So we're fine. so oh that's right here. So if I wanted to change yeah. it, it'd be here. So right. that way we don't have to make a secure shell thing. That's correct. Um, depending on your settings for the purposes of this tutorial, we just said that copy yeah. the highlighted. I just said that I click copy. If you didn't notice on the on the right here with the, the handy dandy and ubiquitous copy symbol from your terminal yeah. window paste the command you copied and press return i i will do that but i'm i'm going to press enter instead of return if that's okay with you i think they're the same thing. okay oh cloning 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 all right it's cloning another window opened up on my other screen log again right asking you to log in uh, it shows you. I'll bring it down. It shows this. So yeah, you got to sign in there. Sign so in I guess you did need a browser as well. And then I have to click on grant access. Authentication successful. So now okay. you can see in the background it enumerated and yeah. So like that's that. a good thing to go over because that doesn't happen to me on uh, different operating systems. But... Yeah, exactly. So uh, and we can do a, we can find a similar one and do this again on uh linux and linux, mac yeah. Yeah. We, like we fortunately are rife with computer yeah. computers okay so we did that um well, enter good. your bitbucket so, password when the tr uh terminal well, asks for it yeah, if you, you created an account by linking yeah. to google use your password for that account well i like what they're talking about i just authenticated uh yeah you did all this sorry i did i did all this maybe 
Yeah. Well, that's interesting because it just kind of did that automatically by opening it up. Uh, if you yeah. get this error, enter the following. I, I, we don't have an error. Yeah. Which is uh, awesome. Um, so then go back to step four and repeat the clone, blah, blah, blah. So CD repos. At this point, your terminal Thank window you. should look similar to this. Yeah, that's exactly what it looks like. List the contents of your repos directory and you should see bit station, the bit bucket station locations. Well, LS. Very good. And you do. Yep. Uh, so far, so good. Uh, step two add a file to your local repository and put it on Bitbucket. With the repository, um, to do so, let's create a file at your locations. Go to your terminal window and navigate to the top level of your repository. Yeah, you're there already. Yeah, I was going to say, and then I want to put this in. There, that's... Uh, yeah, so, so they're being very, very specific, which is good. You don't need the dollar sign. Um, but the... Uh, you can just do CD Bitbucket because you're already in the repos directory. Oh, but yeah, if you just right. copy paste that, uh, that'll work too. They're being very, very specific, which is that a good thing. Put a slash in here or what? Oh, the tilde and then the slash. And yeah, you can just paste it as well. No. I know you need repos first. Oh, or no, don't. actually, sorry. So do an LS, just do an LS. We're going to change it. Oh, whoops. Okay. All right. That's fine. That's what we're here no, for. That's... that's why you're here. And then do CD and then start typing BIT. Or Oops. yeah, that works too. CD and then BIT. And hit tab. Yeah. That's tab completion. Tab completion. We were talking. I just learned that on uh, the Automate the Boring Site Python thing we talked about last video. Yeah um yeah. so now uh, enter the following line into your terminal to create a new file with content so we're making yeah, a copy text. paste that so we're making a text file so i'm just going to copy and paste that into sigwin yeah. if the command yeah. line doesn't return anything yeah it means you did it correctly yeah and if you do if you want to double confirm you can just hit ls and you'll see the text file yeah the text file will be there now oops not ls ls locations.txt. Okay, uh, get the status of your local repository. The get status command tells you about your how your project is progressing in comparison to your Bitbucket repository. At this yeah. point, Git is aware that you created a new file and you'll see something like this. So we're going to put uh, git status. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so so git status red... on branch master. Yeah. Uh, your branch is up to date with the original master on track files to include locations.txt. Nothing added to commit. Locations. Yeah, it's very, all. very, very similar. Uh, the file is on track, meaning that the git sees a file is not part of the previous commit. Well, cool. Uh, tell git to track your new locations.txt file using the git add command. Just like when you created a file, the git add command doesn't return anything when you enter it correctly. So we'll do that. We're just copying and pasting here to here. Warning. In the working copy of locations text, LF will be replaced by the CRLF the next time Git touches it. Yeah, that's a Windows. That's a Windows. If thing. you say so, check the status of the file. So we'll do a. a uh, can we do this? Yep. Git status. Yeah, it's see now it's now it's green instead of red. Yeah. So it's all up to date. Um, now you can so see they the call file that uh, staged. Yeah. yeah. Right here it says. Staged. So it's staged, uh, and you can commit. Uh, commit when you're ready. Where was I again? I just got lost. Uh, uh you oh, get status command ready. displays the state of the working directory in the stage snapshot. Issue the git commit command with the commit message as shown on the next line. The dash m indicates that a commit message follows. So I want to do yeah. this part here only. So I get that's the, or it's not the whole thing, right? It's just this. That's correct. Okay. The get the dash m is like a shortcut. There's a different way to do it, but I do it this way. What's this fatal? Please tell me who you. Oh, are. you have to. Oh, yeah. So this is something that's not in there. It might be in there. Um, you've installed Git, but you haven't set it up properly. So this I'm is added it. bonus Let me, material. Let me try the whole thing. Oh no! Wait, you had it right. It's it's a Git thing. Just I know what's going on. You got you you did it right. Fine, you did it correctly. Um, but you have to uh, run those oh. two commands that are in the top there. 
git config dash global user email. Mm. Uh, you copy, they, they can just copy where it says run. You can just copy the git config dash global user email and then git config. Just forget the tutorial for a second. It's thrown, thrown something at you that's not in the tutorial. Oh, you're talking about up so, here? Correct. Oh, okay. That's correct. So you need to paste that and change it to your email. Oh, I see. Your, your, this is your it identity. Want, it, wants me, it wants me to run this. Once right. you know who you are, it doesn't know who you are right now. So you have to do the git config. Okay. Uh, and you need to. Uh, oh, so no I got to get, uh, get rid of the two hundred. Hold on. Yeah, I don't know what happened there. A bunch of well, it's just because if you copy and paste, it's just part of the. Uh, so we'll get rid of this, and we'll that's go. Um, yeah. oh, this doesn't uh, have to be real, too. So I can put u at example.com? Yeah, and we can just change it later. It's fine. And then copy and paste the second the second command. This is how it knows that you're you. This is your identifier. This is part of what your hash commit in Git. Okay. So yeah. now if so I now get... if you go up up twice or get yeah or yeah or however you want to do it type it out or up arrow or whatever. Uh, okay, so you didn't put the dash m in there, but that's fine. You can just exit out of this. Uh, How do you exit? Is... is it a quit right quit or something? No. Or is this no. not? You this hit isn't col col you hit colon, not mm -hmm. semicolon, colon, mm -hmm. and then q. Okay, so it's vim. Thinking... Yeah, that's what I was saying. I said, yeah. it's, is it like Vim? And you said, nope. I, but I forgot about the whole one, honestly. So is this all I'm doing? Or should I copy yeah, paste the whole Yeah, that's correct. Oh, that works. That's correct. OK, so the master no, you... created initial commit, one file change, one insertion, create mode, yeah. locations.jc. Cool. So yeah, that works. So if you, if you look at the picture now, mm -hmm. uh, you when you hit git add, it added it to the staging area. Yeah. Uh, and when you hit git commit, it actually committed it. So you have it locally committed now. If you do a git status yeah. again. Yeah. Mm. Okay, sure. Just, just, just it's probably going to tell status. you to do it. But yeah. But now it's, it's, now it has one commit. Uh, yeah, exactly. Okay. So up until this point, everything you've done is on your local system and invisible to your Bitbucket repository until you push those changes. Learn a bit more about Git and remote repositories. Git's ability to communicate with remote repositories, in your case, Bitbucket is the remote repository. Blah blah blah. Collaboration model shows you. And these are you should these are you should go through these. These are okay. details. You um, so with its own local history and branch structure, users typically need to share a series of commits rather than a single change set. Instead of committing a change set from a working copy to the central repository, Git lets you share entire branches between repositories like this. This is cool. Yeah. Um, you manage connections with other repositories and publish local history by pushing branches to other repositories. You see what others have contributed by pulling branches into your local repository. So it says, go back to your local terminal window and send your committed changes to Bitbucket using this right here yeah all right yeah. So, so this is copy and paste that so this is putting your local changes into the central versioning system oh what happened there i have no idea um oh actually i do go go uh um dude get branch ls I think it's the LS. Uh, go back to the Bitbucket thing. The 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 you, the browser Bitbucket account. Yeah, close that. So we need to go to click on sort. Click on source. Yeah. So it's not main. It's master. Oh, so, okay. So, so we'll go back in here and change. Do you understand? Yeah, I understand. got it. So I want to change this to master. Yeah. Okay. So, so with all the, so wait. Go on, go on. Yeah, so I'm listening. With all, with all the um, 
political correctness thing going on. Uh, there's some people that don't like master as the branch name. Oh, so they so change it. Okay. So you can change it to main. I've run into this before where I'm like, what the oh, hell? I don't have a master. Okay. What's going on? But some people change it to main. It's just something to be aware of. Okay. So, um, so we change it to Git push origin master to, to match the bit bucket, what it actually yeah. says, enumerating yeah. objects, uh, for done. So it says counting objects. Enumerating yeah. is a fancy word for counting. Uh, says, yeah. Writing objects, so I guess it's showing delta compression up to four threads. Compressing objects, which it isn't showing it. Maybe it's like further down here. It's 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 fine. I don't know. It's but closer. whatever, it's just it's just a little different. It's a little more information than yeah, what so this if you do a git, made. If you do a git status again on the browser on yeah, the sure. command line. Oops. Uh, let's let me go back up here. Uh, so we'll do a git status. Uh, yep. Your branch yeah, is up so to date with the original to, master, nothing to commit, working tree is yeah. clean. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. I remember enough about the git parable to uh, oh, understand good. what this means. I understand perfect. You're um, okay, I'll let you do the rest. Sorry, now. it's it's okay. You can interrupt, that's why you're here. <laughs> your commits are now on the remote repository origin, yeah? Go to your yeah. Bitbucket's location on Bitbucket. If you click commits on the sidebar, you'll see a single commit on your repository. Right, so there's the first initial commit, and then there's the yeah. second initial commit. It's just because yeah. you see, you see how it puts your name as the author. Oh the yeah, first one. Yeah, because it was like who? Because it asked me who are you, and I I, yeah. I put my my fake email address. Yeah, like your fake, fake email, email and your fake name. Yep. Yeah. So get so get thinks that's you now. So this is a programmer humor right here. I've learned. Yeah. Enter your name. So you put your name. Um, so yeah, you did that. Uh, let's see. You can see that the author column shows the value you used when you configured the Git global file, which is what we said uh, here. Yeah. Uh, if you click source on the sidebar, you can see that the author column shows you the value you used when you configured the Git global file, which is this one, I think, five minutes ago. I yeah. think. I think we were just looking at it before. Yeah. Um, remember how the repository looked when you first created it? It probably looks a bit different now. Pull changes from your Git bucket repository on Bitbucket Cloud. Next on your list of Space Station administrator activities, you need to file with more details about your locations. Since you don't have many locations at the moment, you're going to add them right from Bitbucket. Step one, create okay. a file in Bitbucket. Uh, to add to your new locations file, do the following from your Bits Bucket Stations uh, location repository. Click source to open the source directory. Notice you only have one file locations okay. text, which is this one in your directory uh a source click the link to open this page all right do you want to click this is that what, yeah is that what yeah. it is that's what it says uh earth moon uh branch yeah. selection b pick the branch the you branch want to view. you want to view you only have master branch so that's fine all right, there's master, uh, more options button. Click to open a menu. Is that what I just said? I'm so confused. This uh, now I'm, I'm kind of lost now. Pick the branch you want to view, yeah. which I did, which is this one. Um, yeah. More options button. Click open a menu with one or more options, such as add file. Is it? Is it? Is it this click one? Click the down arrow thing. Yeah, it's your, um, click on source again. Click on uh, source on the left. A left source, yeah. Mm -hmm. So somewhere in here, there's there's probably a button. Click on the so where it says invite and clone. Click on the dot dot dot. Oh, add file there. Yeah. So that's so, what they're talking about. Up oh, here. actually, it's in the graphic there. Actually, if you look at the graphic with the A B C D. Oh, it's C, pointing D. A B C D. Okay, sources. Yeah. You, I want to be on the master. Right, which yeah. is fine. Then I want to go see. Okay, that's good. The graphic. I didn't even see it. Th this was yeah. my bad. And then they want you to click add file. Yeah. And then call uh, view the directory file. Yeah. So uh, from the source page, click more options button. Add file from the menu. Um, what they want us? Do they want us to call it anything? Yeah. It says file name. Add the file with a different branch. Enter station locations. 
Okay, so that's here. Just to follow the directions. Um, in the file name, select HTML in the syntax mode. Do you see syntax mode anywhere? Bottom left, bottom left. Oh yeah, look at that Pascal. Yeah. YAML. Uh, if you just type, type H, it'll probably select it. Right? Okay, yeah, HTML in syntax mode. Add the following HTML code into the text box. Uh, click commit. Yeah, it's going to ask you for a commit message. And then you can click, click commit in the message field. You don't have it. That's fine. Okay. Yeah, I have one change added. Good. And now I'll approve it because uh, it says approve. Okay, so I can go view source. Or do I have to go? Um, I didn't set approve is for a pull request, which is a, a different thing, but that's fine. I don't think it's a bad thing. Okay. Uh, oh, okay. I didn't need to push that then. Um, yeah, it's fine. You now have a new file in Bitbucket right here. Uh, you yep. were taken to your page with details of the commit where you can see the changes you just made. If you want to see a list of the commits you made so far, click commits. Yeah. There you go. There's and see how one. it's different. Yeah. See how it's, you know, it's different. Like if you, so now it thinks you're two different people. Because For, so the sig win, so the sig win was like, uh, my employee, a, um, yeah. my employee, a, correct. That. That's good. It's okay. showing the distrib distributed nature. Okay. So that's good. So pull changes from the remote repository. So now we're gonna, it looks like we're going back to the local repository. So we're going back to Sig Sigwin. Um, so open your terminal window and navigate to the top level of your uh, repository, which we may be at already. Okay, that's where we are. Uh, now enter the get pull all. So get, get, get pull all. So get pull all like this. Ooh, look at all that fancy stuff. Numerator. Yeah. Okay. You see all that stuff. So which fetching is what you have. Yeah, it says it just the phrasing's different, but it, it gives you the same basic idea. It's what like here it, here and here. It's thing. what I'm looking for. Yeah, exactly. Um so this is like I, I'm just guessing this is just old, older. I have no idea how old this tutorial is, but so far it's it's holding up pretty well, I think. Yeah. Um, the git pull command merges the files from your remote repository Bitbucket into your local repository with a single command. So you notice that? Yeah. That was crazy. Uh, navigate to your repository folder in your local system and you'll see the file you just added. Oh. Yeah, if you just hit ls, all you have to do is hit ls. Uh, yeah, I, I don't need to navigate to anything. But it's, there yeah. it is. There it is! Um, yeah, you just didn't put the .txt on the end of it, but that's not a big deal. Yeah, you can yeah you can add that uh you can add that later because there's no way there, well maybe it is uh you I, and i can go back and change it and i can you can change, change it right? but so if you do change it it will ask you to do another commit which is fine you can do that actually might as well yeah this so uh i go commits uh I'll click on source at source, source and then i want to go to here yeah that's the one we just made correct i want to edit yeah. this yeah and then i want it can I change it? No, I don't think. I think you have to delete it and create it again. But um, if it's not important, I don't want to. That's yeah, not important for now. Well, I'll show, that's another. But it's thing it's a de you, right? detail unless there's something further in the tutorial where it becomes important. Then we'll do it. Yeah, it's not. It's not important. Let's go to the source. It's not important for our purposes. Okay. Um, so being a space station administrator comes with certain responsibilities, especially in mapping out new locations. Our documentation includes a more includes more explanation of why you want to use those branches. A branch represents an independent line of development for your repository. Think of it as a brand new working directory, staging area, and project history. Before you create any new branches, you automatically start out with the main branch. For a visual example, this diagram shows the main branch and the other branch with a bug fix update. Create yeah. a branch and make a change. 
So yeah. this is a creative branch where you can have future plans for the space station that you aren't ready to commit. When you're ready to make those change those plans known to all, you can merge the changes into your Bitbucket repository and then delete the no longer needed branch. It's important to understand that branches are just pointers to commits. When you create a branch, all Git needs to do is create a new pointer. It doesn't create a whole new set of files or folders. Before you begin, your repository looks like this. Yeah. To create a branch, do the following. So we're, I'm going to copy and paste this into Sigwin. Uh, okay. Paste. Enter. All right. And then create a branch from your terminal window. That's which is where we are in Sigwin. It's going to move this up a little bit. Um, paste. Whoop. There we go. Made a branch. The repository remains unchanged. All you get is a new pointer to the current branch. To begin working on the new branch, you'll have to check out the branch you want to use. Check out the new branch you just created uh, to start using it. So, okay, so we're gonna do get checkout yeah. as, as promised at the beginning of the tutorial. Yeah. So it switched to branch future plan. So now I'm, I'm in, you can see it. Yeah, so now uh, if you do a, a get status, I know it's not telling you to do that, but if you do a get status, yeah, it's fine. Uh, sure. Tell on branch, on branch, future, on plans. branch. future plans, nothing to commit, working tree clean. Okay. So uh, search for, let's see, uh, git checkout, if you're going to use it. Now that you've checked out the new branch or git flow work workflow, looks something like this. So here's the branch branching off. So yeah. that's cool. Uh, search for bit bucket station locations on your local system and open it. Yeah, what's you're up? already in there. Open no, station locations, there? file it using a text. Oh, there is editor. no there is no .txt on there, so that's fine. Um, so it yeah, wants oh, me to do it, open... actually do it the way do it the way it's saying actually. It says uh, folder on your local system and open it. So uh, yeah. I have no idea where it is. Uh, oh, in I guess I can folder. check. It's in my home folder. It's in your home folder. It's in the CA mug for folder. CA mug. Folder. Okay, so we'll go CA mug. Um, what's then it you called have a repos again? directory in there. Repos on the left. Ah, uh, here we go. Bitbucket station locations. Yeah. I want station locations. Yeah. Open that in your text uh, editor. We're gonna call, we're gonna get notepad. Might as well use Adam. Just fine. Or notepad. Now this is notepad. Fine it's faster. Where'd my notepad go? Okay. Oh, there it is. Way up there. Okay. All right. Bitbucket has the following space stations. Make. Yeah. Uh, say open the station locations, make a change to the file by adding another station location. Yeah, so, copy, after copy, we're gonna thing. copy, yeah, me as well. And we're do this and save, I imagine, because it's not gonna do it automatically. Save and close the file. Yeah. Dunzo, yeah. I'm done. So, okay, save and close the file. Enter git status in the terminal window, and you'll see something like this. I like how it says that because uh, they know, as I mentioned earlier, that it's going to be updated. So it's like, yeah. it should look something like this. Yeah. Modified station locations in red here. Yeah. So, uh, that's so it doesn't cool. say, uh, it doesn't say untracked anymore. Like it does before because mm -hmm. it's in your repo. Yep. Um, and now it's modified instead of untracked. So, uh, I entered git status, so we did that, and it showed all that. Notice on the on-branch teacher plans line, if you entered git status previously, the line was on branch main because you only had one main branch before you stage or commit to change. Always check this line to make sure the branch you want to, you want to add the Very change important. to is checked. So Very save, important. save your file, git add station locations. You don't want to put stuff in the wrong branch. Yeah, uh, enter the git commit. <laughs> the kids are home, they're just ringing the doorbell like crazy. But it's okay. Well, we're going to be done this in a couple of minutes. If they come in, it's fine. Uh, uh, git commit station locations dash M. Yeah, and then you have the rest of it making change in the da 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 da. So we want to do M and oh shoot. Yeah, you're on the wrong one. I was on the wrong one. Uh, so dash M making a change in a branch. This can be anything you want, right? This is your commit message. Your commit message just make, needs to... Yeah, it just, then that's to tell the other people what you were doing in there. 
um, or, and yourself for future. With this recent yes. commit, your repository looks something like this. Now it's time yes. to merge the change you just made back into the main branch. Merge your branch, fast forward merging. Your space station is growing and it's time for the opening ceremony of your Mars location. Now that your future plans are becoming a reality, you can merge your future plans branch into the main branch of your local system. Because you created only one branch and made one change using the fast forward branch method to merge, you can do a fast forward merge because you have a linear path from the current branch tip to the target branch. Instead of actually merging the branches, all Git has to do is integrate the histories as move, i.e. fast forward, the current branch tip up to the target branch tip. This effectively combines the histories since all of the commits reachable from the target branch are now available through the current one. This branch yeah. workflow is common for short-lived topic branches, but smaller changes are not as common for longer running features. To complete a fast forward merge, do the following. Go to your terminal window and navigate to the top level of your repository. So that should be this. Oops, I won't do it. Paste. I hate that. It's so, a weird one. It does that one. It doesn't do that all the time, just from the browser. Yeah. But I'll go here. Go. It's only at the tilde. CD and the tilde. Yeah, that should work. And so we're at the top now. Enter the git status. Uh, on branch feature plans, something to commit, working tree clean. So git uh, check out main. Yeah. So you're oh, switching master. to the main check out from master. 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 Right. Yeah. master. Okay, so hopefully I remember that. Uh, so we're branch origin. Merge the changes from the future plans branch. So I want to uh, let's see if I can just do this. No, it won't do it. That's so funny. Whatever. I'll just type. Uh, it's better to type sure. anyway. plans. Oh, it gives you muscle memory. That's why yeah, I, exactly. I like typing when I when I'm doing learning. Um, so you've essentially moved the pointer for the main branch forward. The current head of your repository looks something like the fast forward merge above. Because you don't plan on using future plans anymore, you can delete the branch. So yeah. get branch dash D for delete future. Delete, yeah. Oops, future uh, dash P L A N S. Deleted the branch future plans was, and it shows you the branch identity, and that's great. Yeah. So uh, we'll go to get status. Yeah. On branch master, your branch is ahead of the origin master. By one commit, use git push to publish your local commits. Nothing to commit. Working tree clean, it says. Um, here's what you've done so far. You, we created a branch and checked it out. We yeah. made a branch in the new branch. We committed the yeah. change to the new branch. We yeah. integrated the change back into the main branch. Yeah. Uh, we deleted the branch we're no longer using. Uh, next, we need to push all this work back up to Bitbucket, your remote repository. Push it. Push it. Push it. Push it. Push it. Push it. Good. You want to make it possible for everyone else to see the location of the new space station. To do so, you can push the current state of your local repository to Bitbucket. This diagram shows what happens when your local repository uh, has changes that the central repository does not have, and you push those changes to Bitbucket. Uh, so blah, yeah. blah 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 blah. You can see everything. It's th those are actually really good diagrams based on. Those the are really good They're diagrams. Very good. Um, here's how to push your change to the remote repository from the repository directory in your terminal window. Yeah, that's where you are. That's which is where I am. Um, get push origin main. So I'm going to type that out. Master. Because I do not like editing after I copied and pasted. Something. Master. 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 <gasps> master. Metallica there. Oh yeah, Master of Puppets. I get it. I'm picking up what you're putting down. All right. Click the overview page of your Bitbucket repository. Yeah. So now now your stuff's in your Where's o where's o where's o Discord of Source? That's that's mean the source one is your over. Oh, they just changed the name of it. Uh, so or you can click on the. I think you can click on the one above it as well. Uh, there, yeah, click there. Oh, this Same is thing. probably the overview. Like just yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. Uh, so uh, click the overview page of your Bitbucket repository and notice you can see your push of your recent activity stream. Um, I don't click know commits. Well, commits you can. Yeah. Making a change, like it said, that note I made. If I yeah. expanded the window, you'd see making a change 
uh, to the branch or whatever it was. Yeah. Um, you can see the left commits list has a straightforward path and shows no branches. So that's the future plans. Click branches and uh, click branches and notice that the page has no record of the branch either. So it's like it never yeah, happened. because you only did it locally. Yep. Uh, yeah. Click source and uh, click station locations. Um, and the, you'll see the file has the commit ID you just pushed. Um, remember yeah. it said it was FBD7B4 uh, yeah. before, so that's cool. Uh, click the file history list. Where's that? Does it have a... Uh, probably one of the drop-down ones. This one? That's click, comment click. history. Yeah, click. Don't go back one. Uh, or maybe it's in the dot, dot, dot beside edit. Down, down. There, yeah. Hmm. Go back one. Go up to uh, the Bitbucket locations. Just the source one. Uh, is there a history in here? I'm not saying to go click here, station locations. Oh, I think that's all it's talking about. Like when I look at it, it's just looking looking at this. Oh yeah, the commit history. Yeah, yeah. That's, yeah, it's all it's the commit about. history. Okay. Yeah. Um, and then guess what, Scott? Oh, we're done. We're done. We're uh, done. You are done. I was gonna do a thing about the yeah. about like a whole thing about uh, how many stars I would give this one, or how many clouds I would give this one. Four and a half clouds. I would give it four and a half clouds too because it's not uh, completely updated, uh, but it's pretty good. Um, yeah. If you nice. uh, are watching this as a walkthrough, uh, because of uh, Scott's notations as we're going, um, you could probably give it five out of five, but we give it four and a half because uh, we yeah. had, we had to do some minor interpreting, uh, like yeah, changing uh, main our main to master a couple of times without that uh may have been confusing uh for this ombre yeah that would have thrown you for that would have thrown you for a loop but yeah, the get parable thing myself. i think helped the yeah. get parable thing i think helped you a lot there oh definitely because the, the concepts were not new okay to you. yeah that's great um but uh that's all we have today for today if you watch this content and you liked it uh feel free to like and subscribe down Use below your... uh we always uh we always forget to remind people um Use your we, thumbs. we do this for free because we like you and we like the cloud and uh think it's worth learning so uh right. we, we appreciate your time and uh we'll catch you next yeah, time thanks thank you for watching